Lady, go! Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Lace Empress here, where spirituality is our fashion statement. So today we are going to get into the message of the moment for Leos. Lucky Leos. Let's see what's going on, message of the moment. To my subscribers, thank you guys. And to those of you that are new, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe before you leave today. Leave me a message. Let me know if it resonates with you. Okay, Lucky Leos. Let's see what's going on with you. One message. One more Holy Spirit. One more for Leo. Two. The passion coming out. Such a fiery energy. And beauty. Beauty and passion. So what's going on with this beauty, Leo? I kind of see... Oh, you could be mirroring each other. Or you could be signifying knowing your worth. Knowing your worth. Knowing your worth. With the passion... Kind of picking up on the energy of um, putting the spark back into something. It could just be your life or it could be relationship energy too. But let's dig a little deeper. Let's get the tarot out and see what's going on. The beauty inside. I keep hearing that in my head. The beauty inside. Yeah, see? Taking a leap of faith. And the five of pentacles. You're afraid to take this leap with this person. Clarify the full card, Holy Spirit. What's the full card here? And what is the five of the okay? Alright. So you're afraid to take this leap with this person because I kind of feel, because you got the tower in reverse. So I kind of feel something happened in this relationship and now it's time for you to revisit it. But you're afraid because you guys are, you guys trigger one another in this relationship. So with this beauty card here, they looking at you, you looking at them, y'all just looking at each other, y'all looking like how you looking. This is called, in the spiritual world, it's called mirroring. So you guys are mirroring one another. Um, because this person definitely teaches you lessons and this person uh, trick has some triggers. They can trigger you a little bit. So this can be um, kind of like a power struggle. But now it's time for you to revisit this situation. Now it's time for you to take a leap of faith because the tower moment has already happened. Um, I kind of feel like you're resistant to this new change too. You're resistant to the change. You're resistant to pushing forward and pushing past um, some issues or some things that, that may have happened in this union. Because I kind of feel like you're ready to take your passion elsewhere. But I don't think that's what I don't think that's what God wants you to do. I think they want you to try to work on it a little bit. For this group of people that I'm reading for, I think God wants you to work on this, to bring the passion back into the relationship. Like I was saying earlier, this is some type of renewal, some type of passion. And this strength card can also mean reconciliation, but it's going to take um, some, some courage to do so. And definitely it's going to take willpower because you're ready to walk away with the five of this. You're ready to just say, oh, forget it. But this clarified with the strength card and with passion is definitely saying, use your willpower to um, have some self-control in the situation and to put passion back into back into the union. Reconcile, try to figure out a middle ground with each other because the, it's, now it's time for you guys to come back together with this love. So it's not time to run. It's time to deal with it head on. So this is definitely telling me that it's time to deal with this situation head on. That was a simple message. Time to deal with the situation head on. Not time to run. Definitely time to put the work in. And stop being resistant to the change. Because the change is the full card. Taking a leap of faith. I know you don't know what's on the other side of this. What is this? A mountain or on the other side of this cliff. But what's hidden from you is that this relationship is ready to blossom. This relationship is ready to blossom. Whew. Okay, Leos. Because you showed up to your own reading with the with the strength card here. So you definitely are in the house, okay? 
with the passion and the strength card. So I feel like this is reconciliation. This could be reconciliation from a person that left you out in the cold or you feel like they turned their back on you. So, but now I feel like you guys have been talking and you guys have been trying to figure out a middle ground. So this is just kind of coming across like some encouragement to keep pushing, like keep pushing forward, keep on finding the middle ground because eventually the situation will turn around. It's not going to stay like this forever. The situation is turning. The situation is turning around. Okay, let's get the Oracle message for the spread. You guys wasn't that long. What's the Oracle message here? Holy Spirit, what we got? Ease and grace. See? I'm saying it's coming along. You just have to be patient. Give it some time. Don't be so quick to walk away from your soulmate. Possibly even your twin flame. Don't be so quick to walk away because this person is going to bring you joy and grace. You're going to bring that into each other's lives. You're going to be happy. So you just have to be a little patient. So find a passion and the love that you once had that you feel is lost, but it's not. It's still there because you got harmony and resolution at the bottom. So there is going to be resolution to this conflict with the one that you love your person and there's going to be harmony again you guys are going to be as one also see possible marriage i know you guys can't see that right now but i kind of feel like this the reason you're going through this and you're learning to lean on one another and you're coming into this union to be with one another again is because first of all you're getting a second chance they're getting a second chance to be with you you get a second chance to be with them and you guys have learned um, from your lessons, now you can apply that to this union so that you can step into this union and it can flow with ease and grace. Like once you get that middle ground again, it's just going to flow together. So just continue to use your strength and your willpower to bring passion back into the relationship. And then everything else will follow after that. Okay. Passion just just dot the passion does not just mean intimacy. Okay, fire signs. It don't just mean intimacy. It means the passion to be around each other, the passion of loving, like do everything with passion, not just have passionate intimacy. Do everything with passion when it comes to your person and they reciprocate that to you. That's going to bring the harmonious love back into the situation, which is going to be unconditional. Okay. Okay, Leos, that was your message of the moment. Lucky Leos, lucky Leos, lucky get another chance at love, lucky Leos. That was your message of the moment. And until next time, let intuition be your guide.